Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar about JFT Invest highlights of the week. And JFT Invest, yeah, that is trading and investing simplified. So it's a, I think, a quite cool way to get up it in trading to in yeah to improve your own trading just by following some strategies of professional traders, and that's extremely easy and. Um, yeah, you will see it's uh, just a few mouse clicks and um, as always um, for the, those kind of webinars here, I will review a little bit about new strategies, the highlights last week and of course my personal trading account, my JFD Invest account, which is following a couple of strategies up to now. I think I follow six um, as we speak and I have already more than 10% earned um, in uh, nearly two months, which is uh, really an impressive number. So that will be a topic here as well. And an additional highlight today, we have a new strategy, already top performer right now, not announced um, in the late, uh, last newsletter, but we will have a look to that strategy as well. But before we start, um, just um, our risk disclaimer here, you know, we talk about trading and finally you do some decisions by your own and uh, you may follow any recommendations, but finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own responsibility. I think that's self-explaining. And um, yeah, let's see um, where we can go now. So highlights of the week. Maybe you got the newsletter um, and maybe you think that's a little bit disappointing. The best strategy last week just earned half a percent. You see? I'm not enthusiastic, but there are always such weeks. Weeks, we may have even weeks without any um, profitable strategy at all, but that's trading. In this case, we still have, um, we had two strategies earning money last week. That has been Eurodream and uh, PowerFX. And the funny thing is both strategies are completely different to all the others they have a more individual approach to the markets they don't use any grits or martingale or whatever kind of approaches no they just do their trades and try to profit directly out of the market. The so one is a trend following strategy that is Eurodream and the other one PowerFX for example is a trading strategy using power candles um, as an entry and then the trade is fixed as a stop loss as a take profit and whatever is hit first um, will, will be. So no rebuys, nothing else. So that is a typical um, strategy as well. But those in special market conditions have good times as well. So what have we to do? We have to look to Eurodream, of course. Maybe we will have a look to PowerFX, but of course we will have a look to the overall portfolio. But when we start, you know, I always start here at uh, JFT Brokers and then at uh, JFT Invest. Um, and you know what you can do, um, what you can always do is to just press guest access and then you are directly in. And now you see a new strategy here right on top of all the others. And uh, that one is called uh, JFT Invest Galileo. Um, the strategy um, started, and that's what you see always here with uh, that kind of table here. Um, you see the inception date, so it's not a new one in terms of um, last trade a couple of days ago, no. Uh, the strategy is already trading since February uh, this year, <clears throat> and from there on, it has earned more than 50%, which is really an impressive number. You know, I'm always frank, I'm transparent with all the strategies and there's another very important key figure 
in order to have a view on those kind of strategies. That is, in this case, equity balance deviation. Why is that, that important? Because that might be floating losses um, during the time with open trades. And if that number is higher, it means mm, you have um, that you have to wait until those trades may come back to a positive result. And um, so let's have a look on that strategy. JFT Invest um, House grows, growing, perfect. And you see, okay, there have been some problems. And you see those even in the growth here. Maybe those um, dips to the south here are temporary. Let's have a view on equity because then we know or we see both equity and balance. And um, hopes that's uh, ah there has been withdrawals. Okay, now I see. Sorry, uh, I just was puzzled because uh, uh, that um, turn here to the south, but uh, that was uh, simply a withdrawal of the, uh, the um, account. But you you remember that um, point in time here, beginning of June, when we look to the growth itself. I go back to that. Um, here in a second um, and there have been some problems but everything was recovered and to have that point really on spot we have that equity balance deviation and here you can see okay there has been floating losses okay yes 16 percent but on the other hand everything recovered why is that so important because in a, in a minute, we will look to the um, second uh, outperformer here, FX Global, because there has been something special last week, and I want to comment on that as well. So we have to keep in mind those things might happen. Equity balance deviation, meaning floating losses. Maybe they recover, maybe not. In good cases, they recover, and then finally the trades come to a positive end. Anyhow, that strategy is really impressive. You see the numbers. Okay, there has been um, one month with um, yeah uh, outstanding results in May. Um, I have no idea why, but uh, let's uh, all the rest is um, yeah two, three, four percent, which is really fine. Let's have a look on the instruments traded. It's um, euro, US dollar, and British pound, US dollar. So just um, those two symbols. A couple of trades already performed. Everything really running well so um that looks great so um we see the closed orders here um oh <laughs> i'm just wondering why i see the closed trades because i'm not really logged in as a guest i'm logged in with my uh, account number so therefore i see the closed uh, positions normally you know the steps um in order to become part of jfd invest first thing is you, you need profile if you have a profile then you can see already closed positions the second you need JFD Invest account. That is a special account just for trading, um, trade following, trade mirroring activities, not your normal um, account. And um, yeah, and then you link both together and then you can follow strategies. I will mention that in a minute. But now we see um, the closed um, positions here. And okay, everything looks fine. Um, number of trades is um, a good statistics so let's have that strategy uh, in view because i don't want directly to jump in i want to have a view on that uh, how it behaves maybe in two weeks from now um, i will revisit jfd in west galileo just in order to to see how it works because history is always one one thing, but it's always good to see some actual results in the actual market um, environment. And then I will decide whether I go with that strategy, yes or no. Since we are already now here in my, my account, um, so we, we should have a view on that, how that develops over time uh, since inception here. So we started in the middle of uh, September <clears throat> and up to now, with that 10k account i have earned um, about 14 percent just following a couple of strategies uh, there are six in my basket 
And you see what I'm doing here? I'm acting as a portfolio manager. I switch on, switch off some strategies and that's my result. So that's what I have earned just in less than two months, already 14%, uh, which is, I think, a good result. I love it. And um, yeah, it really looks quite well. Now, once again, to the downside, we, because we have always to view, to have the full view. Let's really look into the details. We can do here, and that's really cool at JFD Invest, what we can do is we can analyze that portfolio account, my JFD Invest account, as any other strategy. So we have the same possibilities. We see the growth, and I just want to point out um, equity balance deviation once again. And you see, yes, a couple of days ago, there has been, let's call it a problem. We have had a floating loss of 8%. Okay. The reason is one or two strategies. Um, the main reason has been FX Global. Um, and we will look to that strategy in detail in a second. But you see, that belongs to trading as well. We have floating losses. And in this case, it has been 8%, which is still fair enough. And that's the reason why I like that portfolio approach. Because I don't have invested all the money, all the 10K into the one and single strategy FX Global. And because of that balancing, of that, that diversification, that loss is not too much. Let's compare it directly to what I mentioned has been the main reason. And I said the main reason has been the strategy FX Global. So we can have a look into that as well. And then you see, whoops, you see at the right end here, there has been a sharp dip to the south. Fortunately, um, the trade recovered. So the trade is now closed. But uh, still, there has been a loss in total. Um, but anyhow, strategy has still earned uh, about 40% in, in um, a little bit more than half a year, which is a brilliant result. But you see, if I press here, equity balance deviation, strategy itself has had a floating loss of 25%, a little bit more. And now back to my story about building your own portfolio. If that would be your single strategy you would follow, okay, you might have had hard nights um, during that time here to see those floating losses uh, for a couple of trades. In this case, it would have been 25%, a little bit more. Due to the fact that we diversify the overall account, we don't have it in our portfolio or in my portfolio. And you see, that's finally what I have here. So still, I want to be fair and not show um, um, the equity. So still, we have had that equity balance deviation of uh, about 8%, but it's much less than following one in a single strategy. So because of that diversification, everything is much easier um, to go through. And that's really good to have that kind of, of portfolio. Since we are here um, in my account, just one view on the allocation. You see, I have six strategies in my portfolio and the invested money is up to now 9,000 euro. Um, therefore, I cannot jump directly into the uh, new strategy Galileo because what I have not shown you um, when we have a closer look to the details, the minimum investment sum for that strategy is 5, 5K. So um, right now, I do, do not have in my overall portfolio the 5K. Um, of course, I could um, switch off some strategies and still I have 2K less uh, room here. So 2K are already there. So I would need to switch off uh, for um, 3k uh, strategies and because I don't want to do it right now therefore my decision um, I want to wait and um, I know that in two weeks from now um, 
the account would will not increase um, by the um, missing 3k but um, I need some time to really um, think about which one and uh, so it should not be a um, decision all of a sudden. So as I mentioned there has been other highlights as well. So we looked already to Galileo, the new one, which is the outperformer at all here. We looked already to FX Global, um, which has had a hard time over the weekend and uh, the two other days, Monday and uh, Tuesday. But now everything is fine again. Um, Goldmine is already still quite doing well. Um, the equity balance deviation is not that huge, so that works well. And now we can go for the top performer of last week, Eurodream, because that is an interesting one as well. Eurodream um, has the following um, chart of growth. Um, and if we look to the traded instruments, just uh, a second, where we are. Uh, there we are. Traded instruments, it's just one instrument. So it's Euro, US dollar only. And... Um, nothing else and i have looked to some trades here and it's obvious that is a trend following strategy uh, right now we don't we have open trades um why can i know that uh, that fast i just look to the difference between balance and equity so there must be open trades in this case um there's a minus of uh, 50, Euro, uh, 50 euros about. So, but anyhow, so you see how that strategy works in equity or in growth here. So there are always time, a couple of even months or two months with a more or less flat behavior. And then we have a next increase. So we have already three steps here. One, two, three. And now it's growing again so since we are already invested in that strategy that's quite well there's one key figure of that strategy which is really um extremely well and that is this equity balance deviation for this strategy so the maximum number is a little bit more than one percent which is an extremely low number that means that strategy is not losing much money in the time between. So it's a very steady strategy, not having lots of open positions, which might have floating losses, no. There are phases without investment. It's more a strategy jumping in for a good trend and then stop out. But nevertheless, on a long run, it worked really well. And you see, even if I look here for the monthly return table, um, okay, the, the, the November up to now, as we speak, is negative. But all the other seven months have been positive months. So it's an ex extremely stable strategy. So, yeah doing well let's have a look how many people are following okay it's already 19 no that's five, uh, favorites um 26 investors uh, total assets under management is um, 74k um, and the minimum invest for that strategy is just 500 euro so um it's a quite interesting strategy of the top performer of last week and the second one has been uh, PowerFX. Uh, let's have a look here as well. I have no idea what happened here. Um, so, um, but anyhow, I think that is a simple mistake within <laughs> the numbers. You see also some other kind of equity behavior. So it's an up and down, a little bit more pronounced than um, you would we, but doing well on, on a long run. So let's have a look to the instruments here as well, because the instruments, uh, um, the instrument list is a little bit longer here. So you see in total um, 10 or 11 uh, symbols, I think it's 10. Um, 
for a single symbol, there might even be not that much trades. For example, here we have up to now only one trade in British pound US dollar and for example, 25 trades in US dollar, Canadian dollar, but it's a portfolio in itself. So it's doing well. Um, and we have an quite well gross. Let's have a look to the equity balance deviation here. It's extremely low once again. So you, you see when I characterize those different kind of strategies, I have always looked to the volatility of the strategy itself. And in this case, PowerFX and Eurodream are extremely low volatile. And this can be seen already in the overview here. Just have a look to uh, the column equity balance deviation. Then you see um, the lowest numbers are around here for Eurodream, PowerFX, and then the next one would be a Goldfish. But since right now that strategy is not that interesting because it's in the minus, but you see the special character of Eurodream and PowerFX, so they behave different. And that's the reason why I have both in my portfolio. Um, so I look for a little bit um, stability. That's the reason choosing Eurodream and PowerFX. And go back. I go back to my allocation table here. So that's the reason why I have Eurodream within the portfolio and PowerFX as well. And the other one here, they are the more aggressive ones. And those might have floating losses. But I need this overall approach, that portfolio approach. And since we have had now over the weekend some little bit harder times here, um, mainly because of um, FX Global, but you see a portfolio is balancing everything quite well. Still, we have floating losses, yes, um, but those are in an acceptable um, level now and that's the reason for going exactly for that kind of portfolio so overall we have a new strategy um, which is galileo performing extremely and we have had some harder times over the weekend but we managed it right, right well Overall profit, if you have a similar portfolio like my portfolio here, is about 14% in less than two months. So, good number. I think it's time for you to start. Just go here, um, JFD Invest on the webpage, and then you follow uh, those steps. Um, sign up for an investment profile, um, open an investment account. Connect both, and then after depositing, you can start doing exactly the same I do here um, with a couple of strategies and be your own portfolio manager, as I mentioned a couple of times already. But I think it's really a cool job. And let's see how the portfolio will develop over the future. And I hope you are a little bit interested now um, to see what new strategies will come next there are still things which will pop up here um so stay tuned and have a good night or evening first see you again i think next week bye bye have a good time